Triumph TR6 from 1972, produced from 1968 up to 1976. Uh, a lot of them have been made, uh, 92,000, and out of this 92,000 made, 83,000 and something were exported. Uh, most of them to the United States of America, and uh, only eight and something thousand remained in the home country, Great Britain. Um, this one, contrary to the, to the previous ones, was made in uh, Germany by Carmen. The bodies were made there. And the Carmen uh, amended the front and the back part. The car is similar to TR5, TR4, but uh, those front and, and end parts were were amended and it made some a little smoother lines which were more modern and they uh, they were in uh, in accordance with the 70s style the front part uh, looks uh, lower and slicker than the tr4 and tr5 it gives the impression of a lower car of lower stance uh, although the, the riding height is uh, actually the same. The, the versions uh, for US market were carbureted while uh, the ones for international and UK market were uh, the injection. Uh, those ones in US, uh, it was not called TR6, it was called TR250. Uh, the, the petrol, the, the injection version was, uh, was more powerful, it was giving uh, 150 horsepower, which was respectable at the time, and it enabled the car to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 8.2 seconds. Uh, the, the car had uh, um, front uh, uh, discs, and uh, at the back there were drums for braking. The, it had, uh, you could order the, the hard top as well, and uh, the hard, hard top needed two people to deploy that. And uh, also from these um, uh, options, uh, there was the, the anti-roll bar, and uh, you could also order the limited uh, slip differential uh, which could help you a lot while uh, while starting. Inside the typical British interior with uh, the wood wiener and uh, the standard instruments, there is a speedometer, tachometer, and then uh, the four additional ones, uh, tank uh, meter, the oil pressure meter, uh, the water temperature and the, the amperometer. It uh, has also a very nice layout of the door handles from inside. Uh, you um, are closing them just by by a small handle on, at the top of the of the door instead of having handle inside which saves uh, space uh, the car was it is a bigger triumph there was a smaller one of course the triumph uh, spitfire this one is also two-seater but it's a bigger and it has a 2.5 liter engine which uh, gave the sufficient power so you could cruise easily in uh, in those cars a lot of people consider those uh, being the, the best looking triumphs uh, ever uh, they're very popular today a uh, lot of them survive uh, especially especially in the u.s there are lots of clubs uh, all around europe and uh, and america uh, with these cars, this one is in, is a nice British racing green color, and it has uh, the black interior uh, matches uh, matches that really really well. This particular one came from Canada; it's from Ontario, uh, Canada. We can see here the nice uh, sport wheels with the, the chrome rings. Uh, this was um, 
the standard option while you could order the wire wheels as well. They were both uh, really nice uh, uh, looking. Uh, those ones uh, with uh, uh, the chrome rings, uh, they uh, give an impression of uh, the wider wheels uh, than they actually are. We're gonna do a short walk around now. We can see the muscular lines of TR6. This car may look like a small one today, but uh, those times this was uh, a big triumph comparing to a Spitfire, which was a smaller one. This was a proper size British Roadster at the time with uh, enough power with the six cylinder engine you could uh, go anywhere with that they were very reliable cars uh, for an english roadster they didn't have uh, a typical problems like the other brands uh, had and also like uh, like a triumph had in the future uh, this was a proven uh, technology in TR6. Please do not forget to subscribe and thank you very much for looking.